Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and I'm making this video on an overview of Microsoft Word. I'm making it for my friends over at Learning Bird. Hope you guys like this video. So this is Microsoft Word. When you first open it up, you'll get a blank document just like this. And Microsoft Word is a program inside of Microsoft Office that you use to type Word documents. So if you're typing a letter that you want to print out on the, you know, on the printer, this would be the program that you'd use. If you're if you really like writing and you want to write a story, a short story, a novel, if you want to type an essay for a class, this is the program that you would use for that. So let's talk about what we have along the top here when we're inside of a Microsoft Word document. I click on the view tab first. These are the tabs by the way across the top here. These are the tabs. And this section down here with all of these different um, preferences is called the ribbon. I like to have the print layout with a ruler grid across the top. You can get rid of the ruler if you don't like seeing that across the top. You can also make it so you have grid lines all throughout your document to make sure things are lined up nicely. You don't need those but for me personally I, I find it helpful. And the print layout is just showing me exactly the document and what's going to happen when it's printed. So I like having that. Again, it's a personal preference. If you don't like that, you could maybe use just the draft, um, the draft layout where you just see the words that you're typing, or an outline, or web layout. But again, for me, my personal favorite is, is the print layout. I'm going to start typing inside of this document. So I want to show you, again, just a couple of basics of Microsoft Word. And to do that, I need a tool inside of View. I need to zoom. So you can zoom using this button where you actually get to choose. I want it to be 200%. Or you can zoom using this toolbar over here that you actually zoom in. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in pretty far so that we can see the words that I'm typing. and You'll be able to see what I'm talking about. There. So I'm going to show you two different things that Microsoft Word does while you're typing inside of a document and then our other videos will will talk about all of the different fun tools that are inside there but here's two things that you can expect to see when you start typing inside of a word document I'm gonna type a sentence here I like to play basketball oops I forgot the a in basketball notice how it when I spell a word incorrectly it tells me, it underlines it in red. That's saying this word is spelt incorrectly and there's two ways to, to address that. You can either go back and add the A, making it now spelled correctly, or you can click on it with the right mouse button and it will suggest to you the word that it thinks you actually meant to say, basketball. So that's one thing. While you're typing, if you make a mistake, um, it will underline it in red. Or there's something called an autocorrect. If I put T-E-H, it will automatically change it to the. That's a common typing thing that people do when they're, when they're typing. So they have some programmed in there that they'll automatically correct it for you. The other thing that I want to show you is um, I like to went to the store. Oh, there we go. As soon as I start typing a, a full sentence and I put a punctuation at the end, like the period I put at the end of this one, I, when I started writing my new sentence, it underlined in green. It said, wait a second, now that I see that sentence, I know that it's not correct. It shouldn't be the word went in there. And you can adjust that, again, using the right mouse button, it'll suggest what should be there is go. I, I like to go to the store and then the, the sentence will no longer have that green underline in it. So again, this is Microsoft Word. It's used for writing documents, and that is just a basic overview. The ribbon is up here, shows you all the different preferences. These tabs up here, we are going to get to all of that and show you how those wonderful tabs work throughout these lessons. The most common tab is the Home tab, where you get to adjust your font and your paragraph and the styles that you want inside the document. We'll get to talking about all that stuff later on and we'll talk about how to save a file. We'll, we've got lots of fun stuff planned. But for now I just want you to know what the doc Microsoft Word does and 
be familiar a little bit with the the zooming and also know the vocabulary this is our ribbon up here these are our tabs up top and we're gonna have a lot of fun as we look at Microsoft Word hope that was helpful for you have a great day